<laughs> okay. So if we know everything here, you know, omega-1 before is 3 radians per second, that omega-2 before is 0, right? Because these things aren't moving before. I'm sorry. That's omega-1 before is 0. Omega-2 before is your 3 radians per second, right? And omega-1 and omega-2 after are both 2.5 radians per second, right? Because everything is moving. After you drop the magnets on the beam, everything moves at the same angular velocity. <coughs> and we know I1, which we just calculated here, right? So we easily solve this, and it's really easiest to solve it symbolically, and I want you to start trying to train yourself to do solutions symbolically and think about relationships, okay? I've had, you know, we, we, we've done a mix uh, because I want you to think about what the quantities are at every step and the units and all that stuff. But I'm just going to uh, do this one in the... Uh, quick and dirty way. Uh, to get I2, you're going to, let's say, uh, subtract this from both sides to get your I2s over here, and subtract this from both sides to get the other stuff over there. <coughs> and you're going to get I1 multiplied by omega 1b, actually be omega 1a minus omega 1b, there would be reason to write it the other way, but I don't want to confuse myself or you. You wouldn't be confused, I would. And that's going to be divided by, when you factor the I2 out of what you have here, you're going to have omega 2b minus omega 2a. Right? I think so. Okay? So, Omega 1a is 0, omega 1b is 3 radians per second, right? And omega 2b is, wait a minute, which one is 2? I'm sorry. Omega 1b is 0, omega 1a is 3. 3 radians per oh, second, because that's after. Getting my subscripts confused, okay? So this comes out 3 radians per second, right? About 2.5. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Wait, this after oh, this is omega one, right? That's this thing. So uh, omega one b is zero. Omega one a is two point five radians per second, right? So that's going to be two point five radians per second. Your denominator <coughs> is your negative point five radians per second, right? So you're going to have i one. Would it be positive 0.5 since it's 3 minus 2.5? You're right, it would be positive 0.2.5 and omega 1 at i. Something's wrong. I, I got my signs wrong somewhere. No, they're you right. It. Huh? You're right, they're right. Well, we're not going to get a negative moment of inertia. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. Okay? So I got a sign wrong somewhere. You fix it. You're going to have 2.5 radians per second over point 0.5 radians per second, meaning I1 is going to be 5 times I2. Okay? Comes out. When I did all this in my head, you know, working memory lasts about, you know, 48 microseconds. Um, so something something's wrong. I, I mean, we can trace it, but you know, you trace it yourself. Uh, the I, omega one b goes minus on this side, and the omega two a will be minus on this side. So I'm still getting that. I'm not going to worry about it. You can solve for the moment of inertia. Okay. So what we now know is that this loaded beam has a moment of inertia five times this, and it's very simple if you accept this equation here, okay? Which is just conservation of momentum and we will derive it from angular impulse, angular momentum, okay? <coughs>